Hello friends, welcome. Now, as I said in this video, I'm going to create the skill and the project model and migration. So let's open my terminal. I'm going to stop for now, clear this, and first let's create the skill artisan. I have an alias for PHP artisan, just a artisan make model. And I'm going to name it skill-m for migration. Okay, now let's create also the same for the project. Project-m for migration. Okay. Let's go to the VS Code and open database migrations. And here we have the skills. Now, what we need for the skills. For the skills, I'm just going to add the name and also the, the image. So the, the logo of the, for example, Laravel, the name and the logo is going to be the Laravel logo. And then I'm going to display them in the portfolio. I'm going to display only the logo or on the skills section. So, and for the, when we filter the projects, I'm going to have the name so we can click on the name and display the, the projects belong to this scale. So let's say I'll assign table and I'm going to say string for the name. It's going to be required, so let's leave it. And also the sign table. The same thing, I'm going to say string and image. I'm going to say, let's save it, close this one. Now let's open the projects. Now for the projects, uh, I'm going to add the name, the image, and maybe the, the project URL. So for example, the GitHub URL of the project, if we have in the GitHub or some somewhere else, and also the skill ID. So let's come here and say dollar sign table, origin ID, skill underscore ID, and I'm going to say constraint and also cascade on delete. Okay, now let's add the name, dollar sign table, string for the name and dollar sign table, string for the image and also the string for the URL, so dollar sign table, string and I'm going to name it a project URL like this. And I'm going to leave it nullable. So maybe we don't have the URL. I'm going to leave it as it is nullable. So with that, now let's go to the terminal and run the PHP. As I said, I have the alias artisan migrate. And create skills table and create projects table done. Let's go to the table plus. I use table plus and if I refresh, we have skills and projects. Very good. Now the last thing I want to do is we need to go to the models and add. So let's go up here, up, models, the project, we need to add the fillable. So let's say protected dollar sign fillable. And it's going to be or skill ID. We are in the project, skill ID, the name, the image, and also the 
project URL. Okay, and now let's add also the create the method relationship. So public function skill and let's return dollar sign this now this belong to the skill class okay let's save it close this one and open the skill here the same thing protected dollar uh, sign fillable and Let's add an array with our name and the image. Only the name, name and image we have. And also let's create it also the relationship method, which is projects. Now the skill has many projects. Let's return that. Return dollar sign this as many project class and let's save and let's close okay now we are ready to go in the next video we are going to create the controllers and the roads so see you there